Yep, uh, good start, no doubt. A little bit of luck, which obviously goes a, goes a long way and helps. Um, but m- most importantly, a really good day, I think, from us, from the team. Uh, Ricky was outstanding yesterday and uh, would have been disappointed not to make 100. I thought he looked really good yesterday. Um, Brad had an outstanding. And then our tail wagged as well. Mitchell Stark making a few runs and James Patterson looked really good. And then picking up an important wicket. So always nice personally to make some runs. Um, but more importantly for our team, I think we're in a really good position in this test match. No, it's been nice to make a few runs, yeah. I've um, obviously needed them after the summer I had last year. So uh, since taking over the captaincy, I've got a couple of hundred, which is... Yeah, which is which is nice. How did you feel at lunch? Better than when you what you feel like on zero, that's for sure. <laughs> um, oh, to be honest, I've never really stressed about being in the nineties, so I wasn't that bothered. Uh, I guess with uh, leadership or experience comes, you always seem to look at the team's total more than yourself. So to me, I still felt well a long way behind where we needed to be for the team to be in a good position. So don't get me wrong, any, any time you make 100, it's very special. But that was probably my main focus was to make sure I was there. And that's probably why I was so disappointed when I got out at T. I think we're only 50 runs ahead when I got out. I would have liked to have been a lot more, but fortunately we hadn't had to finish really well and, and the tail wag, so still a pretty good lead. Uh, there's been a lot of gnashing of teeth about taking a light in the first two days. What's, from a player's perspective, what, what do you reckon? Uh, it's a tough one to be honest. I think we need to. Well, you set a standard with day one, and then I, and then that's how it stays for the whole test. It was exactly the same in South Africa. I think we need, as players, probably need to be told or understand a little bit better what we're trying to do. Like if we're saying we're going to play on until it's dangerous, well then you can keep going a little bit longer throughout the game. As a batsman, it's the hardest time to bat, no doubt. When you come in, it's overcast. The lights are on. And the lights certainly have taken effect the last two days. But is it dangerous? Well, you know, probably not. You know, so it's, it's a tough mix. But I think what, what, what has happened in South Africa and here is you set your standard on day one. So you go to your light meter and say, this is the number we're going to go to. And then we stick with that throughout the game. So I like the consistency. It's just working out to what level are we going to take it. Were you frustrated on doing the field on day one? I, was, I probably said the same thing to the umpires. I said, well, is this the level we're going to take it to? Whatever you see on the metre, is that what it's going to be throughout the game? So I, it was more, I just wanted an understanding of where we sat. Um, just so the players can know as well when they're batting at that stage, on day two, day three, day four, um, you know what level it is to go off the field. Well, I guess Ricky's still disappointed with the goal one, but you must be pleased to be staying behind. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, he's probably... As pleased as anyone. Um, I thought he batted really well in South Africa in that second innings. Um, and he continued on from there. So he's probably brought some momentum home with him. And yeah, it was really nice. It was really nice. I thought that ball today, I thought it was just going to get over leg stump. And I tried to use the referral. But um, yeah, I'm sure he's disappointed he didn't make, a, didn't make a hundred. But he's not far away, that's for sure. Jesse. Uh, Michael, half century stands third, fourth, fifth wicket, and then a century for the sixth. Is that one of the more consistent batting efforts that it's much better than what we had a couple of test matches ago, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think as a batting unit, any time you can get over 400 um, in any innings, you put yourself, you put the team in a really good position. So uh, we knew it was going to be tough with the new ball. We thought, obviously, starting the innings, and then Brad and I thought, second new ball, we probably went the other way. We probably thought it was quite difficult. So the way we're going to look at it is try and get as many as we can to get that ball as old as possible, as quick as we can. Um, and we had a little bit of luck, a few balls went over slips and went over point and things like that. So yeah, it's a, it, it's, it, it's a very good score, I think. Um, if we bowl well tomorrow, that's probably the most important thing that we come out tomorrow and bowl really well, like we started tonight. And then I think we've, we've got a pretty good total. Is it more pleasing to have done that than say last year where you relied on a really big part between uh, Hads and Um. Oh, I don't really care, to be honest. I don't care how we get 400. I just love to get 400 every time we batted. It's like 20 wickets. I don't care if Michael Hussey gets them all or Ricky Ponting gets them all, as long as we, as long as we get it. I think um, individually, guys have been working really hard, so it's nice to get a reward, um, whether it be a 50 or you know even Starkey getting an important 30 for us. But I'm not really bothered how you know who makes them. I just hope the team gets. If we can make 400, um, 
you know, every innings we play, we won't lose too many test matches, that's for sure.